That's right, Pat. During her Senate testimony Monday, former acting Attorney General Sally Yates said she bluntly warned the Trump White House in January that its new national security advisor essentially could be blackmailed by the Russians. And former National Security Chief James Clapper said there's no collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. Charlene Aaron has a story. Former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates told a Senate Judiciary Subcommittee that just days after the inauguration, she warned the White House about National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Yates testified she issued the warning because Flynn had apparently lied to his bosses about his contacts with Moscow's ambassador in Washington. The vice president was unknowingly making false statements to the public and because we believed that General Flynn was compromised with respect to the Russians. We believe that the Russians knew this and that created a compromise situation, a situation where the national security advisor essentially could be blackmailed by the Russians. The White House later fired Flynn for misleading Vice President Pence and other administration officials. President Trump later fired Yates for refusing to enforce his travel ban. Yates was also joined by the former director of national intelligence, James Clapper. Both were asked if they had been the source of or had authorized any of those leaks of classified information. Have either of you ever been an anonymous source in a news report about matters relating to Mr. Trump, his associates, or Russians attempt to meddle in the election? No. Absolutely not. Yates and Clapper said they did see the names of Americans who have been picked up in the course of intelligence gatherings. Those names are usually kept secret but can be unmasked. Clapper highlighted Russia's hacking involvement in the 2016 presidential election. The intelligence community assessment concluded first that President Putin directed an influence campaign to erode the faith and confidence of the American people in our presidential election process. But he says there's no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. And President Trump blasted the hearing, saying there was nothing new. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.